Today I have a very special product review that I find exciting and I hope you will too. Now if you're like me and you like to travel, there are times when you need just a little bit more interior space. Now I don't want to put a car carrier on this thing because of course it's going to destroy your range. Plus it's a Model X, you know, Falcon wing doors. So what is your alternative? Well, the alternative is a carrier on the back of the car. Now of course you can get a hitch on an S or an X or now the Model 3 and we're about to show you that today. So today I'm going to show you a very special car carrier that's designed expressly for electric cars. Here it is, this is the X-Rack. It is very lightweight. It only weighs 16 pounds, 7.26 kilograms. It's made of aluminum, it's powder coated, so it's never going to rust. And as you can see, it has a bunch of really neat features. Here on the back, you have a pass-through, so you can put things like a bike carrier. On this side, you have some inserts, so you can put things like a uh, fishing rod holder that they sell, some neat accessories. On this side, two threaded inserts, so you can move your license plate off the car and you want to put it on there. And the best part, it actually fits in the back of the car when you're not using it. Let me show you how it mounts on a Model X and a Model 3. And the carrier installs very easily. Just slide it into the receiver. The company provides two of these locking pins. You can see that they're threaded. They have a hole on the end for a cotter pin and they have split washers. So once you install these, the unit and the receiver will not rattle. Tighten down the bolts. All you need is a 7 8 wrench or a 22 and a half millimeter wrench if you have one of those. Insert your split pin and you're done. Maximum weight on the carrier is 250 pounds. I don't weigh that much, but as you can see here, it's very sturdy. You will have to do a calculation if you use the receiver port on the back for accessories like a bike rack, you'll have to deduct some of that weight. But as you can see, yep, it's really well built. The company provided me this medium sized cargo bag that fits the carrier on the back. And as you can see, it has a completely weatherproof, rubberized finish on the outside as well as the inside and weather tight zippers all the way around and the uh, lip cover here folds over, attaches with Velcro so that you won't get any water intrusion. Lots of mounting points like D-rings on the back. Here you can see on the back, on the top, some carrying handles on the side and some straps of course to hold it all down. As an alternative to the cargo carrier bag, you can also get the slip cover instead. It's made of the same material, but it's open-ended on the bottom so it has a drawstring. It's fairly tall and lots of uh, D-ring mounting points and the like. So this will slip over any of your personal items that you have strapped down to the cargo carrier and uh, keeps the weather and the other elements out of it. So on this Model 3, we have an Eco hitch that's been installed. It's a third-party hitch. I'll put a link in the video description if you want to buy one of these. We do recommend that you get the four-inch riser for the Model 3 from X-Rack. And uh, this is the pin that you insert, as I showed you a little bit earlier on the Model X, so it's threaded on one side. Put that in, and the threads basically keep it from rattling when you have it in the car. Safety pin in, and you're all set. You can also get these plastic attachments. They have Velcro on the bottom and a slit on the top, and they go on either side of the rack in the back of the Model 3, and that prevents the rack from moving back and forward when you drive. Brilliant design. Well, there you have it. That's the X-Rack. I hope you're as impressed with it as I am. I want to say a big thank you to the guys at X-Rack for sending me this unit for review. As a thank you, they uh, sent us a 10% discount coupon, and I'll put that down in the video description should you want to order one. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. See you later. Well, there you have it. That's the X-Rack. I hope you're as impressed with it as I am. I, uh, I was looking for one of these things for si quite some time. Oh my God, you guys, you gotta stop coming down this road.
I live on a busy street. 